The Ranch Harley Davidson in College Station is expanding and they're hoping it'll bring a lot more business to the Brazos Valley. After years of being in Aggieland, they say this is a way to give back to the community, whether you ride a motorcycle or not. After a not so typical groundbreaking. In true Roosevelt style, we uh, done burnouts in the in the field. Construction for the new location of the ranch Harley Davidson is moving forward. Giving people a reason to ride out of Houston traffic, giving people a reason to get out of the Austin traffic, and having the type of facilities some of these other cities have. The ranch has quite a bit of history in Brazos County. Before moving into their current College Station property in the year 2000, the motorcycle shop was previously in Bryan. Susan Gibson, the current owner, says as the years have gone by, their store has just grown too big for where it's at now. Everything that you see outside has to come inside every night. We look like a giant racetrack. Everything out back has to come inside every night. The building was originally designed to sell 200 bikes out of it. Last year, they were able to sell about 670. So in order for us to grow, we're going to have to have more space. The planned 52,000 square foot dealership will have an open concept showroom to display new and used Harley motorcycles, a state of the art service department and an expanded section of its accessories. It's going to be warm. It's going to feel like an old ranch home and uh, we're going to be a destination for motorcycles. About 90% of the ranch's business comes from nearby cities like Houston. Gibson believes with an even bigger facility, it will draw more out of town guests, which in turn will strengthen the BCS economy because those bike enthusiasts will stop at local restaurants, gas stations, and hotels. If we can get you through those front doors, you won't go nowhere else. And contractors say the new location will be open by November 1st. Now Gibson is hoping it'll be ready to go by August 1st, just in time for their fifth anniversary as store owners.